Y ahora sí, el momento que todos esperábamos. Gracias a Universal Pictures tuve la suerte de conversar con el director y el elenco de Jurassic World Dominion que estuvieron en México para presentar la película. Hoy en Close Up tenemos como invitados de lujo a Bryce Dallas Howard, Jeff Goldblum, The Wanda The Wise y el director Colin Trevorrow. Hi guys. Hi everyone. <laughs> This is so exciting to be with you in this virtual room, but I want I, I cannot miss time. Bryce, please, how does it feel to be growing with this character? The last time I talked to you, you were excited about the new beginning for the franchise and now you are in the conclusion. How does it feel for you? Honestly, it's incredible. It feels really just it feels really complete. The experience feels very complete and The arc for Claire has has certainly been quite a journey, and uh, and everything that Colin and Emily Carmichael created in the screenplay for Claire, I just I adored, and um, and yeah, yeah, it just feels complete. We're racing toward the extinction of our species. We not only. Okay, Jeff, by now you are the biggest experts in dinosaur around. So I want to know, you have seen them in all sizes, colors and abilities. Which one is the scariest of them all yeah, from I, your experience? Which is the scariest dinosaur? The scariest, scariest dinosaur. Well, we probably, for those who might be seeing it now who haven't seen the movie, we don't want to give away any surprise dinosaurs that are going to appear. But I tell you, And I've seen much in my short life, but as we know, but some of the ones that you're going to see in this movie, they're scarier than ever, <laughs> scarier than ever. There's one I'm thinking, I can't, I, I can't even give you some clues about it. Oh yes, very frightening. The, at one point, like my friend who had a, a pet, who had a friend with a pet panther, this is true, who at some point she thought, oh, it's fine. And the panther went, Boom, at one point with his nails, that's all. Tears sprang out of her eyes this way. Bing! <laughs> Now we couldn't have, I could never have acted that somehow. But with these dinosaurs, you will do that. If you go to the theater, you may squ <laughs> squirt Tears. the person in front of you. <laughs> Bing! Yes. yes. With such velocity. Oh my God. I completely agree. <laughs> I completely agree, definitely. Okay, the Wanda, your character is the newest addition to a franchise filled with strong female characters. So I want to know how does it feel to you as an actor to contribute to this legacy of strong female characters with Kayla? It's an honor. You know, I, I think what's remarkable about it is from Michael Christian to Steven Spielberg, these characters, the women, were always constructed this way. So it wasn't this thing where Colin was just deciding that something should be like put on top, you know what I mean? It's just like Kayla and her characterization was really integrated into the story in a really, really satisfying way. And, and I think that's just a, you know, it's a testament to the strength of their storytelling that they found a meaningful way to include our legacy cast, you know, our Jurassic World cast and, and like incorporate these new characters in a cool way too. Okay, and, and exactly about that, Colin, uh, the last film, Fallen Kingdom, grew the scale on this film because now the dinosaurs are out in the world and there's so, so many possibilities. It's, it's so much fun to watch them in this film. So how challenging was to find the right tone for this to be a new adventure and a conclusion to all this saga? Well, I think from the very beginning, Steven Spielberg uh, treated uh, the dinosaurs like real animals. They weren't monsters or kaiju. Uh, you knew that they were alive because they felt like creatures that exist on our planet now. So to take dinosaurs and put them in the real world, we just made a general rule that there wasn't anything that the dinosaurs were going to do in the real world that an animal doesn't also do uh, on the planet that we currently live on. And we just stuck to it. That's amazing. So guys, uh, Jeff, I want to know how nostalgic was reuniting with the original cast on set. And for you guys of the new cast, please, how does it feel to see these legacy characters back and having their own phone and their own action in this film? Very quickly, it was, it was uh, amazing, first of all, to be integrated into this great cast and the entire family, you know, all the actors who are in it, uh, uh, amazing. But I must say, now that you've brought it up, uh, it was nostalgic, moving, touching, and uh, 
thrilling and heart warming to be with the great Laura Dern and Sam Neill. Just great, just great. We couldn't stop <laughs> chit chatting and yeah. remember this and remember that and let's do this and many things like that. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, from it's just speaking for myself, it's. I mean, I watched Jurassic Park in the theaters when I was 12 years old and it changed my life. Like I remember the event like it was yesterday. And so to get to be in these movies and then to actually be able to interact with these characters that I am so in love with and then to fall in love with the people that that play these characters, it, it was it was such an adventure and it was so beautiful. And I'm just so grateful that we got to experience it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, guys. Congratulations. The movie is amazing. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you.